There's no game that's been purely focused on co-op from the ground up, and that's really what's different about Army of Two. It's all about two-man tactics, two-man strategies, two-man advantage. Like we have co-op riot shields. We have a tactic like co-op snipe, where you can do synchronous sniping with your partner and the camera language changes. We also have the ability of players to trade weapons. Certain enemies have to be distracted from the front and then your partner has to flank around the back to take them out. And what this does is it links the players together every second of the game. Private military corporations are something that we've seen a huge rise in over the past decade. These are basically mercenary business operations that have contracts with governments all over the world, and they operate in the gray zone. The uh, private military corporation you work for is a company called SSC, Security and Strategy Corporation. They're in the business of war. They're constantly looking for ways to boost their share price, and the way they do that is by making more war. That's the central storyline of the game, and that's what drives the characters forward. I'm really proud of what we were able to do at Army of Two. The central idea of building a game purely about co-op from the ground up, no one's really ever done that before, so I'm really excited to see how people react to that. Army of Two, it's coming out November 13th for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. All the credit goes to the team for putting this thing together. They've done a great job, and they're excited to show you the final game.